Most of my paintings have been about the time of day. I'm very in touch with the weather, living at the shore, being a coastal person. It's a very huge part of my work because we have such a big sky. And that's really the roof of my house. And I'm just always in touch with it. My paintings always have a clearing sky, but they're stormy. And I like the low light. I'm very interested in the tonalist period, which is a low light, but there's always something brilliant and clearing. Being an artist is so much a part of me and everything that I do that I, I sometimes have a hard time separating it. A lot of people don't really understand artists and it's hard to explain to somebody what you see when they don't see the same thing. I was brought up to develop what my mom always called a seeing eye. She was a major flower arranger designer and I became that as well. But it, it's a matter of looking very hard at what you're seeing. We just live in our own little world sometimes. It's very much a part of everything you do and live and breathe. It's also something that is enriching and nourishing and to have a legacy for what we create is very special. Creativity is so many things. I'm looking at it from the point of view of making something out of nothing and respecting the fact that I'm not in charge of it all. Art is all about what you see and how you interpret what you see. And um, as a child, I was always looking at shapes and clouds, animals, um, the ruffles of the organdy curtains. It becomes a developed skill, actually. I mean, I think probably artists have a natural gift about seeing things, but I, I think it is something one can develop. So. I work with my class on that, and I work with myself on that, actually. And I think one of the most exciting parts is when you look beyond what you see. And that is what creates an expressive painting. It's how you see storm clouds coming. It's not just the color of the clouds or the shape of the clouds. So um, seeing is a very complicated issue, actually, and one that um, is probably the basis of any good painting. I feel I really must emphasize um, when I'm talking about painting, how important it is to have a history of art reference and background, which in art school I got a great deal of and I use it every day. I bring it out in my classes and these references of the master painters are clearly um, the foundation of any kind of good painting. This is where I'm, I'm trying to expand my work and learn from the masters. And I've chosen Turner here, who was the actual inventor of painting skies in the early 1800s. And his work is just so explosive. He was really one of the first uh, painters to paint the sky, and not only that, he is the foundation of the Impressionists, the post-Impressionists. I embrace change in a way that it moves me further in my work. You have to be flexible and loose, and I think it's the best growing tonic we can take. Painting changes its life, you know, you just sometimes have to go in another direction and um, at the moment I am painting in a more abstract way, I guess you'd say. I'm trying to combine Rothko and Turner and some of the people that I am studying to try and further the realistic painting that I've been doing. And I think what will happen, they'll come back and combine and it will be a richer realistic painting in the long run. It's uh, something that I don't even know how to say where it's going because I don't know where I'm going. I'm just having a good time with it and letting it flow. <laughs>